Hi, welcome to the Wedding Filmmaker Spotlight series where I review the best wedding filmmakers in the business. The point of the show is to analyze and figure out what makes these films so great. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get alerted when a new video comes out each week. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing a film by Costa Sister Productions. The first thing I want to talk about uh, with regards to this film and this style of film is that music is absolutely everything. This is a, I would call it like a punk style or like a music video style wedding film where there's not really any, um, there's no uh, narrative audio, there's no audio from the guests, there's no audio from the couple or anything like that, not from the officiant, no audio, it's just the song. So. Obviously, the song is really, really important, and this is like this is like an epic, epic song. So, the song is a big, big part of making this this style of video work. So, um, yeah, if you're gonna be making a video like this, I mean, I think the ma the majority of the the editing time is really gonna be spent finding that perfect song. The next thing you want to do if you want to create a film like this is you're going to want to cut on movement. That's a part of the shooting style, but it's also a part of the editing. It's not just quick movements and it's not really cut to the beat or anything like that. It's really just cutting on movement. Like, you'll see if we watch this, every single shot, I'm not talking to you, Siri. You'll see that every single shot is, is cut on movement. Everything you're seeing is moving. And that is a big part of what, what gives the, the film the energy. It's not just the song, it's also the, the cutting on movement. And it's, it's the, uh, the creating the interest, right? They're creating interest through non-linearity. So like the entire edit is not linear. It doesn't start with prep and then, uh, you know, the ceremony and then cocktails and then the reception. It's not like a linear timeline. It actually starts like at the end, then it goes. So that's them walking, I think, down the aisle. That's after the wedding. And then we have photos and then we have just before the reception and then we're in the reception and then we're back to that starting position. And it's just jumping back and forth all the time. So that's a really big part of creating a a feeling like this, of, the, of just like chaos and, and like a uh, chaotic party kind of feeling. It's just like cutting on movement. Another thing that Costa Sister Productions do to make this film feel more energetic, it has a lot to do with the way they shoot it. Um, so if you, if, you watch a, if you watch any of these scenes, you'll see that there are no static images. Everything is handheld and anything that would be static, so take this table scene, you know, you might just shoot this table scene like that or maybe you do a pan and they are doing a pan, but it's a it's a handheld pan, right? So there's always movement. There's all, like there's a sign, there's moving up the sign, right? Even that shot there, that's that's a handheld shot. You can see there's wobble. Uh, if you look at this part of the door, you can see that it's a handheld shot as well, handheld. And then you know there's a sign here, and instead of just you know shooting the sign, they they do this pan, right? So everything's moving all the time. There's always movement something like that, you got the balloons, the balloons adding movement. So even when there is a static shot, I've got a good example here, this is a shot of, get like, yeah, it's like a group photograph. And like, even though that's a static shot, because it's handheld, because there's balloons moving around, there's movement. So it feels energetic the whole time. There's always movement in the shots and that is a big part of it. Another part, of what makes the film feel so bright and energetic is the way that the filmmakers are exposing the images. We're exposing, I would say, pretty hot most of the time. And there's a lot of, they're not, they're not worried about letting things go overexposed. Like the skies, you see here, the skies are out. And they'll, they'll do that because they want everything to be, they want skin obviously to be properly exposed. They want it to feel uh, like, 
more bright, more energetic, more saturated. So they're going for that look. They're going for that bright, airy kind of look. And that is um, definitely part of what makes this feel the way it feels, this, this uh, punk music video, home movie kind of style. So whenever they do, this is like a nice trick. So if you're trying to make a film that has these kinds of cuts, these kinds of transitions, there's one kind of transition that they do a lot. It's like, it's called a whip pan or a whip, uh, like a whip transition. Go, go check out uh, Peter McKinnon. He does, he, he's, I don't know, I think maybe he invented it. <laughs> um, so like you see this scene here, we have the couple there. It's a static shot. It's, you know, it's cat and deck. And instead of just holding on that, they do a whip pan. So they've got their, they've got their camera and then they, they literally like do that with the camera. And then that's creating movement into the next uh, shot, right? So you'll see they go, oh, it didn't, didn't happen on that one. Where was it? Here we go. Is that it? No, that's not it. I must go back to it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So see the camera is just pointing up. And then that, that just adds just adds movement and yeah, this it looks like that was an example so you know they're shooting the the zebra and then they that looks like that might be more of a, a speed ramp or a, yeah just a sped up clip but it's the same kind of effect you know it's it's just moving the camera quickly to you know lead you into the next uh the next scene the next thing so just moving that camera as much as possible that's going to give you that home movie energetic vibe, right? Because the, the camera is like a part of the, the movement. You can like add movement by moving the camera. So that's, they even end on one. There you go. Up she goes. And then that just, just leads you into your, your next transition. So what did you think about Costa Sister Productions? I personally love the punk music video home movie vibe that they create. If you want to go check out more of their work, go and check them out at costasisterproductions.co.uk. If you like the Wedding Filmmaker Spotlight series and you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you're reminded each time one comes out. They're gonna be coming out every week. If you want more 